Hey guys, Brad here, connecting from UB Central, and I'm finally back from E3. Unfortunately, I didn't vlog the event, but I did get a lot of footage of some Ubisoft games, which you'll be seeing throughout this week. I also got to play Spider-Man for about 30 minutes, and I'll be uploading my gameplay impressions over at Marvel Central. So if you haven't already checked out that channel, I'll have a link in the description down below. But with that said, let's talk about Ubisoft, and more specifically, Watch Dogs 3. As most of you know, the game didn't make an appearance at E3, which I did see coming and even made a video on it last month. But that's not to say I don't think this game is being developed. I mean, Ubisoft already accidentally confirmed that through their AI Sam. Watch Dogs 3 is definitely happening. It's just not releasing this year, which honestly makes me really happy for two main reasons. The first being that Ubisoft are releasing Assassin's Creed Odyssey later this year and The Division 2 early next year. So if Watch Dogs 3 was coming out this year, it would have to compete against other Ubisoft open world games and Red Dead Redemption 2. That would just be a nightmare because the game just wouldn't sell well, even if it was well received. I mean we saw that happen with Watch Dogs 2. Now, the second big reason I'm excited that it's not releasing this year is because that just means more development time. I've said this in countless videos, but Watch Dogs 3 really needs all the development time it can get, and the fact that it's at least getting three years is great. It really shows that Ubisoft is committed to this next game and don't want to just release it for the money, like one of their other open world games. <clears throat> Now, if you ask me when I think Watch Dogs 3 is coming out, I would definitely say late next year. Ubisoft always release a big open world franchise game at the end of the year, and I don't think Beyond Good and Evil 2 will be quite finished by then. As far as Splinter Cell goes, I'm just hoping Ubisoft are smart and don't make that an open world game because it just doesn't need to be and they don't need every single game to be open worlds. It's stupid, and it just ends up competing with their own games. Speaking about Splinter Cell though, I was definitely surprised it didn't even get a teaser. The game has been leaked for quite some time, and Eve has been hyping it up, but I guess they just weren't ready to show anything. Which, again, I'm okay with at the end of the day. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the whole Watch Dogs 3 topic. It's definitely still happening, and it seems like Ubisoft are really giving it the attention it deserves. As always though, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.